Dr. Duck. Sure. Uh, thank you for uh, quite a quite an interesting tour, and and, and David, obviously, um, as we were looking out the window at UTMB at, at, at uh, Old Main, uh, if you will, and that uh, island behind it that was used as a uh, facility to uh, isolate people and, and bring people into the United States, and to, uh, it, it's 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 funny how the circle sometimes comes full around, and uh, that the work that we've done here over the course of years, in my 14 years of being governor, and some years before that as a uh, state representative working with Craig Island and and uh, the members of the legislature uh, to maintain one of the great jewels of the state and frankly of this country with Galveston National Lab being a partner uh, with UTMB and um, this is a place where theory becomes reality where therapies are tested and vaccines are found and ultimately where lives are saved and that's the uh, that's the cliff notes version if you will of what this place is all about and um, we are indeed fortunate in Texas to have uh, the type of talented researchers uh, that are in this building or adjacent to this building uh, and when it comes to talent particularly when it comes to uh, medical research talent. Texas has always been blessed. Um, just yesterday, I called upon many of the top researchers in the state, many of the top researchers in the world. Um, as I issued an executive order creating the Texas Task Force on Infectious Disease Preparedness and Response. Among those answering the call, Jim was one of those. Um, Tom Kiesick, and another one of your products from uh, UTMB, Dr. Kyle Janik, who's the, uh, the head of our Health and Human Services uh, Agency. Um, Dr. Brett Joie is heading that team up. Uh, they're going to study and, and, and improve upon our existing uh, emergency plans, enhancing our ability to quickly and effectively stop the spread of emerging infectious diseases of all types. They're going to develop a comprehensive long-term plan as well, ensure Texas deals effectively with uh, any potential outbreak, covering everything from command structure to the distribution of timely, accurate, useful information from expert sources. The exceptional knowledge and experience that's been assembled on this team will streamline our response process and help us foresee any issues, hopefully, before they arise. Um, and very importantly, to help the local and the uh, state health officials move more quickly to address them. Um, everybody on that team, I might add everyone that I've had the opportunity to interact with today, uh, they understand just how important smart planning is, how fast action can make all the difference when it comes to the possibility of an outbreak. And in Texas, we're doing everything possible to minimize the danger posed by a pandemic and to spread this knowledge to other states, and for that matter, um, around the globe. The first patient diagnosed with Ebola in the United States happened to be in Texas. Um, unfortunately, another incident like that can happen anywhere. And uh, as a matter of fact, I think it was just yesterday that we were notified that an individual, a, a woman in Spain, uh, was the first to contract Ebola outside the Western African uh, outbreak zone. So it's part of why I call for Washington to institute enhanced screening procedures immediately at all the ports of entry. We need more information from people living uh, in those areas, and particularly those arriving uh, from uh, affected areas, and we need to take the basic steps to check their health. And uh, we're expanding on that as we speak on some procedures that we think will be, uh, um, will be very helpful. 
We need fully staffed and prepared quarantine uh, stations at uh, some of these ports of entry, uh, ready to care for anyone who would exhibit um, the uh, symptoms of, of contagion. And, um, but if there's, if there's good news in all of this, uh, it's that people like uh, Dr. LaDuke and others on our task force are incredibly experienced, extraordinarily uh, blessed with an intellect that uh, is as good as anywhere in the world. And um, what I saw today in a couple of areas here are vaccines that are very close to being uh, uh, ready for widespread use. Um, I think all of which uh, would be uh, eligible for compassionate use at this particular point in time. So. Um, they're, they're actually uh, ahead of the game. And, uh, and that's, that's our goal, uh, is to be as far ahead of this as, as we can. And uh, our best defense against uh, pandemic is knowledge. And uh, our best chance to minimize and control uh, an outbreak will come from facilities just like this one that we're in, uh, grounded in cutting edge technology and research. So, uh, I want to thank everyone here, uh, whether you're a, a student deciding that uh, this is where you want to spend your life's work, or uh, Dr. Ben, Ben's been doing this for uh, how many years now? 35. 35 years. So uh, it's a real calling. And uh, if there was ever a time that our country, our state, Matter of fact, the globe uh, needs this type of expertise, this type of focus that's right now. I'm proud to be associated with men and women uh, like this. And I'd like to ask Dr. Uh, Joir to come and just say a few words and, and, and share with you uh, at this early stage of his uh, uh, task force uh, about what, uh, he's, uh, what he sees, what he expects to uh, have into place. and, and uh, uh, then we'll open it up to some questions that the, you may have for myself or anyone on the task force. Well, thank you, Governor. Uh, again, it is a privilege to be here. I'm well acquainted with UTMB and Galveston National Laboratory, both from my previous position at DARPA running the science office where I was very happy in the morning to send checks down here because I knew it would be incredibly well spent as an investment in our, in our, in our future. Um, and I can say as impressive as the facility is, it's only overshadowed by the impressiveness of the people who work, work here. And it's not just the people who work here. I think you know that your graduates and uh, people who train here are not only throughout the United St States, but throughout the world. They really form the backbone of the biosecurity for this nation and, and pretty much for the globe. Uh, I was very pleased to be named by the governor as uh, director of the task force. Uh, and I'm very pleased that Dr. LaDuke and Dr. Kaizek uh, volunteered immediately uh, to join in the effort. Uh, the only issue was we could have 10 people from UTMB on the task force, and uh, we definitely wanted diversity of, of views and outlooks, but we'll be reaching back to all of them. Uh, again, we see the task force operating at a couple of different levels. Number one, uh, we are all providing immediate support, uh, assessment, uh, guidance, recommendations, and are in close contact with a team on the ground in Dallas managing the first Ebola case and all the monitoring of potential contacts and those exposed. Uh, we all need behind, to be behind this group as much as we can, and we are all doing that uh, really on an hourly basis, interacting to supply whatever help that we can do. Secondly, uh, as I said, and it's, I think it's been the most popular quote, this is the first Ebola patient we have in the U.S., and we would all be fools to believe we're not going to learn lessons. We always learn lessons. Uh, what separates those who are better the next time from those who aren't is to accept those lessons, to implement those lessons, and then to teach others about those lessons, which is what the governor said. And we are actively involved in doing that. Uh, we will be working on uh, recommendations for infectious disease preparedness and response throughout the state. And as you all know, uh, we, sh we will control the current Ebola outbreak by public health measures. But right around the corner is West Nile virus, dengue virus, uh, Chagas disease, chikungunya fever, all these that really are potential threats 
uh, to the well-being and economy of our state and in the nation. And we really pledged to get a unified plan to attack all of these. And I, again, am very privileged to work on this task force and extraordinarily pleased that both Jim and Tom have volunteered and volunteered the services of anyone here who can support it. Thank you.